draws, nine of them in Bucharest consecutively, and now another one in the first uh, round. He cannot break the spell, but he's definitely trying hard, and I have to say he uh, has a great chance in this one because he knows this position so well. Uh, perhaps he analyzed this for one of his World Championship matches, perhaps he has analyzed this specific position for the candidates as well. He has a lot of knowledge and he will put a lot of pressure on Fabiano right now, and I do not like that bishop on a7, especially because of this c3 and e3 pawns. Uh, this wall of uh, pawns that is stopping that bishop on a7 is completely shutting it down. So I'm definitely seeing Jan with an easier play in this one. And if he continues with the tempo that he has been showing in the first few moves, this is going to be a very difficult. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking there was a match between. Wow, uh, this goes way back. Kadakamski and this one Anand, Anand, where d5 and bishop takes b6 was played. Uh, but let me pause and uh, invite Christian and Zagreb uh, to share his thoughts about this game between Jan and Fabi. Christian, obviously, turf there. Don't expect that at all. Uh, really shocking. We've barely seen him in trouble. Yes, you know, in the Bucharest, he was in trouble in one game against Wesley So, but the others has been like preparation and he's also started off in a similar vein here, you know. He came to the game against Ali Reza, equipped with some really dangerous opening preparation. Right. Now, as Christian is highlighting, Black's bishop on a7 is locked out of the game and that's going to be uncomfortable. Well, and rook c8, as I speak, has been played with C5, it. trying to break open the position. Yeah, telecasting his uh, idea that you may think that the bishop is out of the game, but, well, maybe it's not. So, for example, let's say we just throw, throw uh, something on the board, and I go C5, and I insist on blasting open uh, the game. Well, you can imagine a situation like takes, takes, and if you take, now we kind of understand the idea behind the rook on c8 is we're looking at an opportunity of maybe playing bishop takes d4 in the near future although i do see there are some issues with that but the move c rook c8 is designed to play c7 c5 and if that bishop ever does get back in the game let me play a terrible move for white and just indicate what i think would be um Turning the tables around completely. I think that's one way of putting it. A moment ago, you were shutting out my bishop. <laughs> and then, and we, like magic, you shut out your own bishop yeah. and open up mine. Talk about a two for one. Or, yeah. uh, jump in on this one, Miro. What do you think about the opening? Ooh. And how does the engine this?
drop back the d5 to uh, support the a5 pawn. And <laughs> Bobby went back to the knight. Taldia. What, what, what the heck? And, okay, some very strange... Okay, I don't understand what Bobby just did. I mean, that was some... Okay, bizarre. What do we have? Uh, we want to take a pawn. I can... That's a good thing. Wait a minute. I can take a pawn and set up with knight g3. I'm in business. What are you going to do, Joby? Uh, Jan's a tr Miro, he just pawn. took a pawn. Yes. Bobby's going to take another pawn. On e4. Said. Knight takes e4. I'm not sure if Fabi understands what he has done. Uh, well, let's see. He's, he's threatening to go knight g3 check. And uh, it's a knight e4, apparently. Was... Oh, by the way, h6 was just played. Uh, because rook takes f7 was quite an unpleasant reply to knight e4. Ah, uh, he's overlooked. Rook I don't know if he overlooked it or not. No, he's... Wow, what rook a shot. seven, and you can't take back with the rook. Because there's a rook a8 check. Okay, got it. So he actually... And when we left it, we saw the, the last move was like h6. And there goes the pawn, and the queen's going to trade it off. Bobby's still a pawn up. But, yeah, it looks like it's... It's fizzling out. It's a fizzle. What do we expect? Jan's playing. I would rook. trade the rooks and maybe play rook to c4. See, the problem, uh, we, we you just can take the can beef take the pawn? pawn, I mean, it's plain and simple, no? Are you? Ah, this, <laughs> you want to have this one? Uh, yeah, this is a three versus two, I agree. No, oh, no this it's is not three even. versus two, 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 two versus, versus two. two. Yeah, no, that's it's just a draw. That's very, very simple. Uh, yeah, and he's just played rook takes before, by the way. Yeah. Okay, well, this game... Yeah, is a draw. heading quickly to a draw, although no draw offers are allowed, so the players will be looking to Holy position Reza. three times, and there you see the players Reza, finding yeah. that repetition, and well again, <laughs> with some adventure, it was a peaceful result. For Jan, what was this, not number 11, 11 draws, or yes. dozen? 11 draws I did, in it, a row. That's so unbelievable, I 